What's going on guys and welcome back to another video with your boy Jordan. I, I really didn't expect to have the car back so soon. I was thinking I was gonna make that last video and be like, hey, you know, I'm just gonna not have the car for a while. And I gave the car to Blue and he figured it out really quickly. And I'm really excited to say that I was right about one thing and that is that the boost bypass valve was not working. So we sent the BMP low pressure boost bypass valve back and for the time being, uh, I'm running a stock boost bypass valve, which simply means that I got a pretty much like big toe of the car, like SpongeBob at low throttle from like 1,000 to 2,500 RPMs. But once I get over 3,000, I can then get into the throttle. So the, the low pressure boost bypass valve was bad. Uh, I'm, it's really cool to be right about something because you know that's not my forte, I'm a filmmaker, but I'm learning about all the mechanical stuff that could go wrong <laughs> with the Terminator Cobra year after year. The other thing that was wrong with the car, I thought it was a fuel issue. I really thought that was what it was. Uh, it wasn't. It was a couple of coil packs. So I, I think there were like two or three coils that were, that were out. Is that the right way to say it? Coil, coil pack? Uh, and so the car was misfiring, and I'm, I'm guessing losing a little bit of power from misfiring on a couple of cylinders. What are the odds? All this time, it was a boost bypass valve and some bad coils. That's why my car made 446 horsepower on the dyno. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another dyno on the car or not. Um, you guys know that I wanna go ahead and get a fuel system and get a new power adder, and that's something that I'm, you know, I'm working on right now. And to go ahead and like do a little retune and a dyno would be taking away money from the new power adder and fuel system. So let me know down in the comment box below if you would like for me to get a retune just to see the numbers. I don't really want to. I'm expecting it to make like 525, 30, maybe 540 wheel horsepower. It just feels that way with my butt dyno. If you guys really think that that's important, you really wanna see it, I'll do it, but I really wanna save that money and just put it towards future mods. What I wanted to do was go out and test the car, see how it drove, see if it's driving better, and it is. Um, Blue from uh, Jerry, <laughs> Blue from Jerry. I am dyslexic. Jerry from Blue did a good job, fixed things really, really quickly, so I, I kind of owe this video to those guys for, for getting the car fixed really, really quickly and getting it back to me. I didn't expect it to be fixed that quickly. And so, heck yeah, it was it was done efficiently and quick, quickly. Quickly. Qu quickly, I was trying to sound like Trump, but I'm not really good at an, an impersonation. tested the car and then I was like hey let, maybe I should take someone else for a ride so I was like I'm just gonna you know mom mom always has to be kind of the measuring stick whenever I get something new to the car done when I'm getting something new to the car done and then I take it out and, and get into it and get into the throttle I'm just kind of like focusing I'm just that's what I do I don't really give much of a, a reaction other than I think I said like I said something after the first pull. I think I said like Jesus or something. It was really slow with the boost bypass valve being messed up. Like that boost bypass valve can really just eat all of your boost away. If you're having a giant boost issue, uh, it could be your boost bypass valve. It could be part of the whole system there, the solenoids. So there's a whole system that bypasses all that stuff. I, I haven't done that yet, but I'm probably going to, and I would recommend just bypassing all that stuff. And you can look into the, all, all that good stuff on SVT performance. There's a lot of forum posts about that. I'm not an expert on that stuff. I just know that 
that can all go out and cause you lots of boost issues and you'll lose all of your horsepower in the process. Mom thought it was faster, so I think it's faster. But I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm just gonna show you guys. guys as you can tell the car is quite a bit faster it's no Whipple it's no VMP it's no Kenny Bell but that is a that is a pretty torquey ported Eaton if I will and I don't think I lost anything with the cams a lot of people say that you lose the low-end torque with the cams maybe I did I can't really get into it below 3,000 rpms right now so I wouldn't really know and I never really do, like who launches their car at 2000 RPMs anyway? So what does that even matter? You gain a lot of power up top. I can tell you, I don't know if you can tell from watching, but I can tell you between five and 7,000 RPMs, before the cams, it would kind of start dying down between five and 7,000 RPM. But now it's like it wants to keep on pulling between five and 7,000 RPM. So I'm like, man, once I get another power adder for this monster cam, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite quick, so like the video if you're ready to see the new power adder. Like the video if you enjoyed this video. Comment if you have any questions or concerns or just wanna say, hey, heck yeah, man, the car's back to like 90, 95%. We're still ironing out a couple little things, but we're, we're getting there and I'm really excited. I was really down on the last video, so I was like, man, I was worried that I was gonna have to spend a good bit of money, but we worked through it and um, yeah guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content with your boy. And I'll see you guys next video. I've got a really cool video coming to you guys. I took someone else for a ride and their reaction was pretty interesting. I am enjoying just sitting here listening to the it's, it's very nice. It's very nice to just sit and listen to. Uh, what it go? What it do? I thought what your do? name was Jordan. It is. It's Kel on Instagram. I was confused. A That's bit. my my middle name is Khalil. But uh, yeah. Like I realized who you are with the car. I was like, Where's David? He's uh, I don't know. You want to see his family or something?